Hey guys, if you are watching this, that means we're over halfway through till the end of the year. So just a couple more weeks left. Um, this is week four project that we'll be working on. This is where you're recreating a famous portrait. Last week you were to create, recreate a famous landscape. Um, so for this particular project, you'll need either yourself as a model or someone in your family. Um, you'll be taking one of the um, portraits off of the worksheet that I provided on your assignment, or if you want to branch off and do a different portrait, you are more than welcome to. You'll just need to know the name of the artist, the title of the work, and the year it was created. So you guys will be thinking about yourselves as kind of like a actor, actress, um, costume, background, setting, all that's going to be important in recreating your portrait. So you'll have to do a little bit of, um, a little bit of modeling in this or at least recreating some costume and makeup for somebody else. I mean, it should be lots of fun. I can get your whole family involved if you, if you need to, if you want to. Um, I was at my brother's this weekend and I did this with my niece. She also had a project due for her art class that was very similar. So we uh, correlated and worked together and collaborated on this project. Um, so you'll see that process that I went through recreating that portrait um, with her. So feel free to use family members when you guys go and take your photos of your portrait. Think about things like lighting, angle, the expression on the person's face. Um, if you are using yourself as a model, you can set, probably set a timer on your camera, on your phone. I know a lot of them have self timers. Um, or you can do try to do like selfie mode uh, to take your picture. It really helps if you have someone else um, in your family help you with that. So. Um, use your resources the best as you can. And you're working with like the backdrop of your photo, you might wanna you know, hang some like cloth or something over maybe a door frame, um, that's something easy to do. Um, and you can take your photo outside, whatever setting you need to to provide that accuracy. Like your previous creativity challenge with recreating the landscape, this is a social media movement. If you follow hashtags like hashtag art challenge, hashtag used props, um, hashtag between art and quarantine, hashtag Getty, there's a lot of museums around the world that are um, using these challenges to, to provide some humor and some relief during the um, isolation. So follow any of those hashtags, you'll find a lot of great examples. Um, sometimes people are using their whole families. You can recreate whatever portrait you like. I've got my niece here <laughs> and my kiddo. Are you helping, Joel? Yeah. Yeah? We're gonna get some, we've got some props. So we're gonna start recreating this and getting ready for the picture. The portrait that we're going to be recreating, um, my niece and I, is Frida Kahlo's self-portrait with Thorn Necklace and Hummingbird, which was finished in 1940. So we just looked really closely at the portrait and tried to match background, um, any details in the face, props, um, as accurately as possible. As a final step, I used an app called Moldive on my phone to do some photo editing and also collage both the original and the recreation side by side.